When performing venipuncture, have all of your supplies assembled and, and ready to use. I've drawn up the contrast and I've already connected my tubing and I have flushed the tubing out with the contrast so that there's no air within the tubing. I'm using a 21 gauge butterfly. I've taken off a couple strips of the tape. I've got cotton balls, alcohol swabs, and my tourniquet. Now always wear your, your gloves when you're performing venipuncture. You want the tourniquet to be tied around the arm, but you don't want it to be painful. Have the patient make a fist. Now, my phantom arm is not going to be able to make a fist force, but you're going to palpate and see which vein is more prominent and the best one to be going for. Generally, whatever area you pick, if you're going to pick down here in the, in the wrist area, on the dorsal hand, then tie your tourniquet about four inches above the wrist. But I like to check out the area up here. And I think I'm going to go right here. So you just cleanse the area in a circular motion and then slowly move out. Let that dry for just a minute. And then get your tubing ready here. I'm going to pinch together the wings of the butterfly and then remove this protective covering that's on the needle. Okay, now always check and make sure that the bevel of the needle is facing up. You want to be able to see that. So then pull down on the arm right below the site that you've cleansed and then insert the needle approximately 15 degrees. Once you see a flashback of blood, here's a little bit of blood you see here, you can then straighten it out and then advance it. Pull back on your syringe. Make sure you do see good blood return. Pop the tourniquet and then tape down the butterfly. It's real important when you're when you're doing your initial approach at that 15 degree angle, once you break through the skin and you enter into the vein, it's going to have a little give. You don't want to continue at that angle or else you're going to be going through the vein. That is when you want to straighten it out and then advance it where this portion's like parallel right up against the arm. Okay, so I have this in place, I have it taped down, and now I'm ready to inject. Now, because this is our phantom arm, I cannot inject, but I'll just pretend I have injected. All right, we've taken all of our images. Patient's ready to go home, so now I can remove this. So you want to remove the tape first. And I like to peel back the tape and leave that in place so that when I place my cotton ball over that area, I'll already have this tape handy in which to tie it down. Now as you're pulling out of the arm with the needle, advance this yellow sheath because this is your little safety lock in which once the needle is out of the arm, it will be encased in the yellow sheath. Okay, so there will be no possibility of sticking yourself once it's enclosed here. So once it's enclosed, go ahead and put all of this within the sharps container. And then you can tape this to the arm. The patient can keep it in place and leave with this in place. If your patient is on blood thinner, you're going to have to hold pressure on it for several minutes or the patient can hold pressure on this. If you do not hold pressure on this, then you're going to have breakthrough bleeding. Okay, now our patient's ready to go.